There we go. A secret cellar. Well, peddler. And uh, good video today. I'm going to be uh, seeing what you have to do when you get one of these. Nice uh, 15 millimeter Molosi uh, intake. Your AV7. Uh, to go with your lovely 15 millimeter uh, Delorto or your 15 millimeter clone. Uh, you need to shim, of course. To match this guy to this guy. There we go. In theory, everything should go together well. However, uh, one issue with the uh, with the intake is that uh, the inside bore of this intake is not uh, 15 millimeter. It starts out at 15. Next down to about 13 millimeter, right in the middle. If you look down and carefully, you'll see that there's a line in the middle. That's where the two halves of the, the casting fit together when they cast it. And so this has got a slight taper this way. And going from the rectangle side, it's got a slight taper going towards where it turns into round. And in that little spot, it's a lot narrower. So. Uh, Ideally, what you want to do is you want to open that up. Otherwise, this carb is not going to perform very much better than uh, than a 13 millimeter carb, which is just slightly better than uh, than a stock 12 millimeter. So, the way you can open that up is if you have a 15 millimeter drill, you just go to town. Uh, if you don't have a 15 millimeter drill. You want to get in there with a Dremel and clean it up a little bit. Or, if you're not a Dremel user, you can even use a nice round file and uh, just start working away at it. What the trick is, is to try to get that to 15 millimeter. So the best way I've found is go through your 14 millimeter, uh, through, through all your uh, quarter inch sockets. And, uh, measure the outside of your socket. Uh, each set is different. I know with, uh, with the ones I've got here, that this one happens to be almost spot on 15 millimeters. So if it's just slightly loose in there, going through, I know that it's 15 millimeter. Uh, I pick these things up at yard sales and stuff. It's always good to have uh, some crappy ones kicking around, and uh, you know the elusive 10 millimeter. Uh, never find the ones. So if you've got multiple sets, you got multiple 10 millimeters to lose. So step one with this intake, before you do anything with it on the motor, is you want to open that up. So. The way you want to open that up is you take your file or you take your Dremel and uh, you give it a little bit of work. And you take your socket that you found is your 15 millimeter and you just start shoving it in there. And uh, give it more shaving. You just want to make that round part a little bit more open. And it's soft. Okay. Aluminum, it's not going to take very long to work your way through. Now, because it's aluminum, your, your file will load up very quickly. Uh, same with if you're using a, uh, a carbide on your Dremel. So what you want to do is you want to stop uh, from time to time as you see that it's getting loaded up with crap and uh, either brush it with your hand unless it's really embedded if it's really embedded take a, a, a wire brush and uh, give it a scrub and if you give it a scrub sideways like this then it'll scrape all of that crap out of the teeth and it'll cut better if you leave them loading up in the teeth uh, what happens is pretty soon your teeth are all filled and uh, you're not going to cut anything. You will just be working up a sweat just for the heck of it. So if 
finally got that uh, open and uh, you can go straight through there now with your finger even. That's nice and open. Uh, after you might want to go in there with a little bit of a uh, of, uh, plumber's tape which is uh, this stuff they sell at the hardware store. It's a 220 cloth, nice long tape. This works really dandy. It's aluminum oxide, so it'll uh, it'll pick up the uh, aluminum rather rather nicely and leave a good finish. And uh, just uh, smooth it all out in there. The less uh, less lumps and bumps in there, the better. And then once you've done that, your next trick will be to fit it to your engine. So Melosi intake. Uh, it's onto the engine like so, and when you get it, you'll see that it doesn't fit at all. No need to panic. The reason why it doesn't fit is because the casting is always way too thick up here. Right there. That needs to be just cut down a bit. So, all you do is you just take a flat file. And you run it back and forth across there a few times and uh, take that down and uh, once it's taken down uh, fits on there mighty fine mighty fine so now you've got an intake that's going to go on the engine next thing you would like to do and this is a uh, it's an option but it's highly suggested is stock this port isn't as big as this one here. Stock. The port is very tiny uh, at the entry. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. There we go. See, this is tiny compared to juggling thing around. Compared to that rectangle there. So what you want to do is you want to match this face with that rectangle. You don't want to go in too far because where that port enters the cylinder it's very very important the size of it because that controls the timing for your intake and if you mess with that a little bit too much uh, you could inadvertently make your engine run really really slow or not run at all. So to match the two together, what you need to do is you need to make your own gasket. 